Okay, well, what is this? This is actually the insides of an integrated circuit that uh, came out of a Walmart bulb. Uh, when I took apart the Walmart bulb, they had uh, strangely de-identified the main controller chip. Here, I'll just throw the inside up. Uh, they'd uh, chemically erase the, uh, the text on top. So, Curiosity, of course, asks me to uh, take things apart and uh, take a look at it. So, um, this is basically a process in reverse engineering called uh, de-encapsulation. Uh, and what you're looking at uh, is the lead frame and two pieces of silicon which are in the package. Here I'm going to move a pencil into the frame to give you some sense of the scale of this thing. Um, this little thing at the bottom here is a piece of metal. It's basically uh, w will become the leads that attach to the circuit board. And then if you look closely, you can see there's two pieces of silicon, a larger one here than a smaller one off there. Um, I guess that was my first surprise. Uh, I guess there's two pieces of silicon to uh, uh, meet the creepage distance clearances required in AC components. Um, although I'm not a designer of these kind of devices, and if anyone's watching this YouTube video who is, that'd be interesting to hear from you. Um, the uh, larger die appears to be uh, sort of a power transistor type of uh, device, and then there's more control logic in the smaller one. Um, now, if you uh, zoom in here, I'll just uh, pop up a frame from a, a microscope. Uh, you can see that uh, the larger die is clearly marked at NXP. Uh, that was the old uh, Phillips Semiconductor uh, division. They spun themselves off into a new company. And um, then I'll just pop up another uh, screenshot here from uh, that company. They've obviously got a pretty broad uh, range of controllers, so uh, that was kind of interesting. So, uh, mystery solved. It's an NXP. Uh, now, uh, I did tear down another bulb previously, uh, which uh, was from the same company. Uh, the controller was the same company, an NXP controller. Uh, that was on a, a FET Electrics, and um, I was sort of expecting that I'd solve the mystery entirely because... Uh, I had the part number for the FET. Here's the FET controller. Now the little uh, little of the dice has actually fallen off here. I'll see if I get it in frame. And uh, interesting enough, although the lead frame and the uh, main semiconductor are the same, the little tiny semiconductor, if I just push it in the frame here, <laughs> you have to have uh, precise hands for this kind of work. Uh, this little uh, semiconductor down here is actually different. So. Um, it looks like the uh, the vendor uh, TCP who designed the Walmart bulb uh, chose a similar part from a similar family, but uh, an NXP apparently keeps this die constant for at least some of the parts in their product line, but then they vary the functionality on these little dies here. So uh, that was really interesting. Uh, so the tools used to uh, reverse engineer ICs, is, they're fairly straightforward. You obviously a hot air gun just to remove the components. Uh, then you uh, need to get the epoxy off the components, and uh, two popular techniques. One's basically a hot acid, uh, and the other one's laser ablation. Now, I won't show that in this video. Obviously, uh, uh, wet lab chemistry stuff uh, is uh, a little bit dangerous. So, But anyways, once you've finished, um, surprisingly, actually, you can see I've used uh, more of a microscope suitable for PCB inspection, but uh, it did actually an okay job for this particular video. Um, it's uh, just a 100x scope. And then we want to take videos, um, of course, a USB camera. Uh, now, I can just tell you that this is a 2 megapixel camera, and it's dreadful. Um, <laughs> and it's got horrible noise characteristics. So if you're looking for a microscope, USB, um, camera head, uh, yeah, spend more than $40. Um, but this inspection microscope did surprise me well, uh, even though you really need a metallurgical microscope to really start seeing down into the layers. So... Anyways, it was a really short video. I just wanted to sort down who made that controller for the Walmart bulb.